everyone, I hope this isn't too dark for you. It's been sunny all morning, I've just gone to get ready so that I could film this video and the clouds have come over but I'm going to persevere and keep going anyway because you guys responded really well to my last Tea Time with Chloe video which I filmed in this format. Um, it's so much easier for me to film them like this and edit them on my phone and upload them that way so thank you for bearing with me. Um, as you can see, I've got my Winnie the Pooh ears on and my Winnie the Pooh t-shirt on today because I'm filming a very exciting video. I've also got one of my Disney themed mugs, my Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs mug because today I'm filming a Disney trip announcement. Oh, does anyone else like to drink their tea when it's still like piping hot? I know a lot of people leave it to sit for a little while but I like it when it's like piping hot. The dogs are out with me today, I don't like to cage them when I'm filming a video so I'm sorry if you can hear Archie playing with his ball in the background. He always likes to pick up his noisiest toy when I start to film and now he wants to come up on my lap. Maybe in a minute I will get this video started. <laughs> okay so we've got an Archie again up here just like my Q&A video but it's fine, he's a cutie. And every Disney princess needs an animal sidekick. Did you just burp? <laughs> okay, so we will finally get down to actually starting this video. So, as the title says, and as I said in the beginning, this is a Disney trip announcement chat today um, for May's Tea Time with Chloe. And I'm so excited because I actually have two trips to tell you about. Um, I have uh, discussed it in my weekly vlogs but I know that not everyone watches those and also this video may end up going up before those weekly vlogs because I'm slightly behind at the moment with my weekly vlogs they're going up sort of like a week or so later than they were actually filmed. So the first exciting trip announcement is that my mum and I are going to Disneyland Paris at the end of July um, to belatedly celebrate her 50th birthday and what I wanted to do was sort of like announce my trips and sort of tell you how they came about and like a little bit about the booking process and um, what the sort of rough plan is for the trip thus far. Um, so those of you who do watch my weekly vlogs and have been subscribed for the last year, um, you may or may not know that my mum and I were supposed to go to New York last year um, in October. Her birthday is actually in December, she turned 50 last December, um, but we were meant to go to New York in October to celebrate her 50th birthday. We were going to go in October half term because we're both confined to school holidays. Um, and it was all booked and it was all planned and then unfortunately in the July, uh, beginning of July, end of June last year, my mum was actually diagnosed with breast cancer um, and thankfully it was caught very early and they told her that she would probably just need surgery to remove the cancer and possibly uh, radiotherapy. And that is what happened in the end, she did have um, surgery to remove the cancer and she did have radiotherapy but it ended up going, the treatment ended up going on until January of this year because she had some extreme complications after her surgery. Um, so yeah, of course the trip to New York was cancelled and the plan was to rebook it when she was well as like a celebration <laughs> of her being well and um, that was the plan. So a couple of weeks ago I asked her if she wanted to rebook New York and I didn't think she would, I just had the feeling that she would say no because we originally booked the trip on a day when she was feeling brave um, because my mum hates flying. So does my dad actually, it's the reason why we never went on holiday when I was a kid. Uh, we went on two holidays um, abroad in my whole childhood and one of them was only to the Republic of Ireland on a ferry. So um, yeah, we never went on holiday because my parents both hate flying. Um, so she was feeling brave and she just booked it one day and I had a feeling that she wouldn't want to rebook it and that is what happened. She decided that she didn't want to rebook it and also she felt that she wasn't going to be up to such a long haul trip anyway because the effects of the radiotherapy can actually last for up to a year and for some people it lasts far beyond um, the year. 
So she said that instead she wanted to go to Disneyland Paris and as disappointed as I was about New York, obviously this trip was to celebrate my mum's birthday and to celebrate her beating cancer. So if she wants to go to Disneyland Paris, I am always up for Disneyland Paris. Um, so we had a look on the website. We, I am quite happy to book everything separately and not stay in a Disney hotel, purely for sort of financial reasons. But with it being such a special trip, my mum really wanted to stay in a Disney hotel. So we had a look at the website and they actually had 35% off Sequoia Lodge and park tickets the week that we were looking. Um, and the deal ended a couple of days later. So just there and then on a whim, we booked it. Um, and it's fairly pricey, but I'm getting some money um, in a couple of days, actually. It's my last ever instalment of student loan. Um, and I knew I wanted to spend some of it on this trip to make it special for her, for my mum. So um, we booked it and we are staying in Sequoia Lodge for, I believe it's three nights and four days um, at the end of July. And we will be there for the Lion King and Jungle Book Festival, I think it's called, which I'm so excited about because um, the Lion King came out the year that I was born and I just, I can't wait. I'm so excited. There's like there's gonna be new shows, there's gonna be new festivals. I've got some of Archie's fur stuck on my lip. <laughs> but yeah, it's just going to be absolutely amazing. There's gonna be loads of Lion King merch and you hardly ever get Lion King merch and also Jungle Book as well, obviously, but it, they are mainly focusing on the Lion King. You're gonna be able to meet characters from the Lion King and I'm just, I'm excited. <laughs> I've changed the angle ever so slightly because it was starting to look very dark on camera and I don't think it's made any difference but we will persevere. I've also put Archie down on the floor because his little fuzzy head on the top I think was affecting the um, focus, the autofocus on my phone. Um, but yeah so I'm so excited and this is going to be kind of a different trip for me because and I think I spoke about this in my weekly vlog. Um, the first trip that I went on was in August last year with my boyfriend and it was for my birthday but he had been kind of reluctant to go in the first place and so we we focused a lot on doing all of the rides because that was what he was interested in um and i did still get to see the shows and take some pictures and all that sort of thing but he mainly wanted to go on the rides and that's what we focused on um, and then when i went on my solo trip i focused on the parades the shows um, and meeting characters. So this is gonna be a totally different trip for me really because my mum does not like rides um, Unless it's like the teacups, but even then she gets motion sickness um, And she said that she's too embarrassed to meet characters, but I think I'm going to ask her if we can meet a few because To me it seems crazy to go all the way to Disneyland and not really go on any rides and not really meet any characters but for her she just wants to go and experience the atmosphere and uh, the fireworks especially and all of the shows and parades and I'm totally fine with that like it will be a really different kind of trip for me but I think it will be a lot more relaxing it probably will be quite busy because it's the beginning of the summer holidays but we're going at the very beginning of the summer holidays so I'm hoping that we might miss a lot of the UK crowds um, we're literally going the day after we both break up from work. So I really hope that we'll miss a lot of the UK crowds and that they will be coming later. Um, and we're also going weekdays. So the park is always quieter on weekdays, even in the holidays. So fingers crossed that it will be okay. Um, in the comments, if you've been to Disneyland Paris and you've mainly focused on um, sort of not the rides and the characters, please do let me know if there's any hidden gems that we should look out for or things that I should encourage her to do. I really want to get her a special like I'm celebrating badge um, so that the cast members make a fuss of her a little bit. She'll probably be embarrassed, but I just, I really wanna make this trip special for her. And I think if the cast members know that you're celebrating something so special, like your 50th birthday and beating cancer, um, I think they will make a bit of a fuss of her and yeah. I'm also, of course, super excited to stay in a Disney hotel. Both times that I've been previously, I stayed in the Kyriad Hotel, which I think actually now is known under a different name. I think it's like Camp Neil de France or something um, 
because I looked it up, I looked up the Kyriad at Disneyland Paris and I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh no, is that not a partner hotel anymore? Because that was the one I have been to both times and it was really good. The breakfast was really good. The rooms were really nice. Um, so I saw that it wasn't there anymore and I was like, what? <laughs> um, but I think it's got a new name. But I'm beyond excited to stay at Sequoia Lodge. It's sort of like their mid-range hotel. But it's only like a 10-15 minute walk to the park, if that. It's got a very clear path all the way to the parks um, and to the, the Disney Village. And I'm so excited to be able to make use of extra magic hours and things because it's just... It's going to be great. It's going to be a whole new experience, I think. What I would really like to do in terms of characters is maybe book us like a Plaza Gardens breakfast or a brunch at Inventions. I know the price is high, um, but to make it special, I would, I would really love to do that to show her that meeting the characters is just a bit of fun and I can do most of the talking if she wants me to um, so that she feels more comfortable. And yeah, or maybe even like lunch at Auberge or something to meet the princesses, like, I don't know. <laughs> I would really like to do that, but obviously it's her trip. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but I do think that could be quite fun and it's like a special thing to do. We don't have any sort of dining plan, so I'd have to pay for that as a, like, as an extra thing, but that would be fine. Um, and lastly, for this trip, um, is to do with travel. We are flying. Um, like I said, my mum is terrified of flying. Archie but I managed to convince her that flying would be easier and cheaper than the Eurostar because um, when I went on the Eurostar on my solo trip in November I went indirect on the way there because it was so much cheaper and it took me eight hours to get from my front door in the UK to my hotel room in Disneyland Paris whereas if we fly hi Archie um, our flight is at 20 past six in the morning, so it will be an early start, but um, we will be flying from Heathrow, which is an, it's nice and close to us. Um, so we'll drive there, park the car, fly for an hour. Um, then we have booked the magic shuttle at the airport, so we just have to find that. I know that can be tricky to find the magic shuttle at Charles de Gaulle Airport, that place is like a maze, but we've booked the magic shuttle, so we will just get on that and it will take us to our hotel. We can leave our bags there and then we can head straight into the parks. So I managed to convince her that flying would be a lot easier. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, we will be flying and we've booked the magic shuttle on the way there and the way back. Um, cause yeah, I just figured that going on the Eurostar, if we booked a direct train both ways, um, it would be quite expensive and also the direct trains tend to leave St Pancras at like half past ten or some sort of time like that in the morning. Um, and then it obviously takes a couple of hours to get there and then once we were there we would have to get off and get on a shuttle at, um, the Disney Village to get to our hotel. Um, and by the time we had done that and left our bags at the hotel and everything, um, because we wouldn't be able to ch we won't be able to check in until later in the afternoon I don't think but we can collect our park tickets and leave our bags there um, by the time we had done all that it would eat into quite a lot of our park time for that first day so we decided it would be easier to fly and it was a lot cheaper as well so yeah that is my first trip that I wanted to talk to you about and I was so excited and I just Oh, I can't wait. I've got countdown on my phone already for both trips. And yeah, it's just going to be, it's going to be great. I hope. I need to have a tea break at this point because I have rambled on for a while. There's a fly in here as well and it's driving me nuts. Because it was really warm and sunny this morning. I had the doors open for the dogs. So they could just go in and out. As soon as you open the doors, the flies. Have you seen that meme where it's like, as soon as you open the windows on a sunny day, it's like the cast of A Bug's Life come in. That's what's happened. So the next trip that I would like to officially announce, even though I've spoken about it in my weekly vlogs, is a trip to Walt Disney World. Yay! Are you not excited? So, okay. Those are, again, I always say this, but I say it every time because I know a lot of people don't watch all of my videos. Um, 
if you watch my weekly vlogs, you might know that Will and I were supposed to go to Walt Disney World in April of this year. We were meant to go for the two weeks of the Easter holidays and it got cancelled um, because of money. Um, we just moved house, there was so much that needed to do into the house, Will was saving up money, I was meant to be saving up money, um, and then I got really sick with Crohn's disease. So we had to cancel the trip, it was so annoying because it was six months away, so we'd already made like our advanced dining reservations, we'd already sorted out a hotel, we were going to stay on International Drive, um, we'd already like sorted out the car rental and stuff, and we had to cancel it all, thankfully we didn't lose any money. Um, but yeah it it all had to be cancelled and I was absolutely devastated like crying devastated <laughs> for about a week um and then I just the last couple of months when I was poorly and everything and I was like housebound I was so upset about the fact that we weren't going and as it got closer and closer to the day that we were meant to travel I genuinely was just gutted like and on the day that we were meant to travel, honestly, nobody could even speak to me because I was just in such a foul mood. And it was all because I was meant to be going to Disney World that day and I wasn't going and I was so upset. Um, and I, I'm in a couple of Florida planning groups because obviously I was meant to be going. And I saw lots of people talking about at the end of April, they would be, uh, Disney would be releasing the free dining offers. And I was like, well, I may as well just go on and have a look. And when the free dining came out, the website was an absolute disaster. Like it just, it kept crashing. I was in queue for hours and hours and all I wanted to do was price up a trip. And I had a look on attraction tickets as well. Um, their prices were pretty reasonable too. But if I was going to book something, I wanted to book it through the Disney website. What I was planning was actually a solo trip. I decided that I was gonna go February next year, I was gonna book it through a website that allowed me to pay it off in instalments and I was gonna go on a solo trip. And then I finally got onto the website that evening, priced up my trip, thought it was quite doable, um, you know, having until the end of the year to pay it off. And then I just chickened out at the last minute. I was like, no, I can't do it. I know I've been to Paris by myself, but Florida's just a whole other ball game. I've never been before don't know what I'm doing, it's just too far away. Um, and I said to Will, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. And he was like, well, how much is it gonna be? And so I, I told him and he was like, do you know what? Let's just go together, just book it. And I was like gobsmacked, I was beyond excited because it had been really hard to convince him to come with me pre like for the previous trip. Um, that we had planned and that was for two weeks um, with lots of things planned in there that he also wanted to do and it had been really hard to convince him to come because he loves he does love Disney like we listen to Disney playlists all the time like he loves Disney but he's just not into the parks I was really shocked that he said he wanted to come so we booked it um, and it was six days I know we're only going for six days um, in All Star Sports Resort because it was cheap and I thought the sports theme would appeal to him and I was I was beyond excited and I was like right let's look for flights because I just wanted to get the flights booked whilst they were cheap because I'd had an eye on flights and um, it was like 290 odd pounds for return flights for my dates so I was like right let's book them now while they're cheap we had the biggest nightmare trying to sort out flights for this trip. Um, and it's still a bit of an ongoing nightmare to be honest, but I'm trying to be positive. Um, but basically all of the cheap flights, it would not let us book. Um, we would put in payment information and then it would just come up with an error message saying that it, the details had changed or it would just take us back to the beginning. It just would not work at all. Um, a couple of flights wouldn't let us add any checked baggage. So we would only have hand baggage. Um, and even though we were, we were only going for six days, we want to buy stuff while we're out there and we don't know how much stuff we're going to need to take. We're going in February, so we're going to need layers because lots of people have told me it's warm during the day and then quite cold at night. And obviously if we're watching the nighttime shows, we're going to need layers. So um, we needed to be able to take at least one checked bag. 
So it was just a total nightmare and we both got very stressed and we just gave up and were like, look, let's try the next day. So the next day, one of our mutual friends um, told me to look at Norwegian and see what their flights were like because for the dates that I was typing in, like Norwegian weren't coming up. So she was like, go on their website and have a look at what their flights are like. And they only have flights operating, at least at the moment, on certain days to Orlando. And they didn't have any flights for our dates, but they did have flights from the day before. Um, and if we moved our whole trip forward one day, we could get flights with them for about £400 each, which, considering it's in half term, was pretty reasonable, and that included in-flight meals, in-flight entertainment, and checked luggage. So I had to call Walt Disney World, I was on hold to them for an hour, so I really hope it is a free phone number like they said it was. Um, I was on hold to them for an hour, and I managed to move our whole trip forward one day, but we had to change our hotel to All Star Music, because All Star Sports didn't have any standard rooms left for the day before, like where we were moving it. So it was a nightmare. So then I um, managed to book the flights. Will sent me the money. Um, he was actually in the hospital with his dad when he sent me the money because the night before his dad had a heart attack. So Will was in the hospital with him, but then he sent me the money for his half of the flight so that we could just book it. And it was all booked, all paid for, everything's perfect. And then I join a couple of groups and find out that the week we've booked is actually the spring, uh, the winter break week in Florida and that Norwegian are potentially going bust. So honestly, it's been very stressful, which has taken a lot of the excitement out of it, I won't lie. Um, plus there's been loads of stuff going on in our personal lives over the last week or two which has definitely taken some of the excitement out of it. But now that we've started researching again, we're both quite excited. Even Will is quite excited. He's been planning what rides he wants to go on and he's been looking up food. Um, we then upgraded ourselves to the quick service dining plan so that we would get two decent meals, two decent snacks and a refillable mug um, to use every day. The, re the refillable mug is only available to use in the resort, but um, it means that we can get up in the morning and have a drink um, and when we get back in the evening we can have a decent drink as well instead of constantly spending money on it. Um, yeah, so we upgraded ourselves to the quick service dining plan and Will's been having fun looking up where he wants to eat. I'm trying not to worry about the flight situation too much. Um, basically, Norwegian have been having financial troubles for years um, and they've refinanced a couple of times I think. The issue at the moment seems to be that they have changed some people's flights to a different carrier um, for this year. And these this other carrier doesn't have like in-flight entertainment and there's no onboard meals and things. So people have been getting refunds and flying with someone else. But the problem for us is that I in particular can't afford to spend upwards of like six, seven, eight, even above 100 pounds for flights so if ours gets changed at the last minute to another carrier we're just gonna have to go with it um, we'll take our laptops with us or our tablets on the plane for in-flight entertainment and we'll just take our own snacks and we'll eat when we get to Florida like we've waited a long time for this I've waited a long time for this and even Will is excited about it now so if they change our carrier at the last minute we'll just go with it and we will go on on the flight anyway because Come hell or high water, we're going on this holiday. <laughs> For anyone wondering about the booking process, I found the booking process through Disney really easy. And even though um, it was like a long wait on the phone when I called them, that was because it was the, only the second day of the free dining offer. So everyone was trying to call them. Um, they were so friendly on the phone. They were so helpful when I changed my booking by one day. They immediately just put us in a different hotel. They didn't charge me the £50 um, modification fee that they would normally charge because it, like the booking had only been made the day before. So they kind of took pity on me and um, just did it for free. They were so helpful. Um, 
and really kind and they put on there that it was going to be our first trip so um they said people will probably make a fuss of us when we get there and we should get our little first trip badges and stuff yeah the booking process itself for the actual trip was really easy and you can pay it off in installments as well so we paid a deposit which was only 50 pounds each and then we're just going to pay the rest of the balance off at the end of the year when it's due so I've got a separate bank account every month I'm just going to put money into that bank account um, and when I get my student loan in a couple of days I'll put a little bit of money into that bank account for um, my Walt Disney World trip and I'm just going to save it up throughout the year and then pay it off in one big chunk at the end of the year and Will's going to do the same. The balance is due, I think it's 60 days before you travel, which is quite handy because I know my fast pass day now, um, but it's right on top of Christmas, so I need to make sure that I definitely remember um, that that is my fast pass day. Um, that's where you can go onto My Disney Experience and book your fast passes, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, if you're staying on site at Walt Disney World in one of their hotels. You can book your fast passes 60 days in advance. I haven't, fast passes is actually one of the things I haven't really researched yet. Obviously we're not going for 10 months, so I'm researching things gradually, but Disney World vlogs are basically all I watch at the moment. <laughs> Like I said, in terms of dining, we upgraded ourselves to the quick service dining plan and that was another phone call that I had to make to Walt Disney World and again, they were super helpful and this time I got through straight away. I wasn't on hold at all. It literally rang like three times. I, collect, I clicked my options um, that it was a dining query type thing um, and that I wanted to modify my booking and that was it. I was through to somebody. I didn't have to wait at all and again, they were really helpful. She just upgraded us straight away and again she didn't charge me the £50 because we were upgrading so the um, trip was going to cost us more. Um, so it, she didn't charge me the £50 so that was really helpful and she just added the cost of the dining plan onto our booking. Um, so it's just extra money that we need to pay at the end when the balance is due. So for two people, for five days in the parks, um, it cost £135 each to upgrade to the quick dining plan, the quick service dining plan. And the reason we didn't do it originally was because we weren't sure that we would need it, but then once Will started researching the food and realised how much stuff he wanted to try, um, he texted me from work and was like, maybe it would be worth doing the quick service dining plan so that we don't have to worry about food. And I was like, I've been waiting for you to say that. I agree. And I just called them up straight straight away and changed it. Because we're going for such a short, short amount of time, we are fully aware that we're barely going to get anything done. So we've been researching sort of the highlights of each park and the things that we desperately want to do so that we know what fast passes to try and get on our fast pass day. We are probably not going to do any table service uh, dining because one, it's not included in our, in our dining plan obviously, and two, it takes up valuable park time. So we think we're just going to um, stick to the quick service options because they're included, grab a snack when we need one, and um, maybe we'll do some table service dining if we ever go back. Um, so what we're planning on doing is having our entire first day be Magic Kingdom, the entire second day being Animal Kingdom, then we're hoping to do um, a morning at one of the water parks and we haven't picked which one yet um, because that's something that Will really wants to do and obviously he's paying the same amount of money as me for this trip so we're going to do something that he really wants to do as well. Um, so we're hoping for a morning at one of the water parks to chill a little bit after two full days because we will be cramming in as much as we possibly can in those two full first days. Um, so yeah, a morning at one of the water parks on the third day. I'm kind of hoping for Typhoon Lagoon. I think I'll enjoy that more than Blizzard Beach. Um, but let me know which one is your favourite if you've been to any of them. Um, and then after that, we will probably do an afternoon at um, Epcot. Because I think Epcot is the one that neither of us will be that fussed about. I'm really sorry, don't shoot me. Um, but it definitely is the one that I think we will be least fussed about, but of course we're going to go, so we'll spend a whole afternoon there. Then I think the whole of the fourth day we will spend at Hollywood Studios, and then the whole of the fifth day, because we don't fly until nine o'clock that night. Um, because the first day that we arrive we're going to be way too tired to do anything, um, so 
yeah so then i think the fifth day we will go back to whatever park we feel like we missed stuff out in um i have a feeling i'll probably want to go back to magic kingdom or animal kingdom so it'll probably be one of those two parks um, and i'm hoping to fit in some shopping at disney springs as well i'm not fussed about seeing all of the nighttime shows i'm obviously going to see happily ever after um and then i'll sort of try and prioritize another one if i feel like i want to see it but i'm not I know that I'm definitely going to go back at some point, even if it's not for years. So I won't lose sleep if I miss some of the nighttime shows, if you know what I mean. I would really like to see Pandora at night, but I'll probably see that on our Animal Kingdom day because I am intending to stay there all day. Um, but I really want to fit in some shopping at Disney Springs as well. So I'm hoping that one evening we'll maybe have dinner in Disney Springs and get some shopping in. I need me a spirit jersey. I'm hoping to buy one on my trip to Paris. So I'm gonna need a Walt Disney World one as well. Um, but yeah, so that is probably what we'll do on our last day, go back to whichever park we feel like. We wanna maybe redo some rides or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just, we're sort of saving that last day, keeping it completely free, and we're just gonna decide probably on the day where we want to go. So it really is gonna be just sort of like a little taste of each park. It's really gonna be a flying visit. Um, and I know I'm gonna be very sad on the last day to come home because I know I won't have seen or done like hardly anything, but I'm just so excited and grateful for the chance to go. And I'm so excited that Will and I are going together. Um, I think I probably would have plucked up the courage to go on a solo trip eventually, but I would much rather go with him. And I'm so glad, and I'm definitely gonna force him to take a photo with me with the tangled lanterns definitely so it's 80 something days until i go to paris and it's 290 something days until i go to florida so you might be wondering why i'm filming this video so soon but um i just i'm like bursting with excitement really and i just really wanted to share it um and also because i've got so long until my trips i kind of want to film some more disney related content in the run-up so tips and tricks that i learn along the way what we want to eat, what we want to do, um, that sort of thing, and probably packing videos closer to the time, and there will definitely, definitely, definitely be vlogs, um, absolutely there will be vlogs, and this time I would really like to get some trip reports up afterwards as well, there'll be hauls as well, because I nearly always do a haul whenever I go anywhere, um, but for my first trip in August, I filmed a trip report and then half of the footage corrupted and I was like, there's not a lot of point in just uploading half a trip report. So I just deleted the rest of the footage and I was really sad because I, I had a really good time filming it. Um, and then for my second trip, I did actually keep notes on my phone the whole time I was away and fully intended to film a trip report and I never did. So... This time I would really, really like to film trip reports afterwards because I love watching them. Um, but yeah, there'll definitely be hauls as well. I'm saving up every penny um, so that I can buy some merch because I love Disney tat. <laughs> I'm also really tempted to film like Disney outfits because I don't wear Disney clothes outside of Disneyland. Um, because I just feel like people judge me. So like I'm in a Winnie the Pooh top today, but I'm wearing it to film this video and I probably wouldn't wear it out. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to, while I'm in Paris, get my mum to do a quick outfit shot of me each day in the parks um, so that I can show you my outfits. So let me know if you'd be interested in that because I want to get some like ears and outfits that coordinate like this one. Um, yeah, just let me know if you'd be interested in it. If no one's interested in it, I won't bother, but yeah. Thank you so much for listening to this massive ramble. I've still got half my cup of tea left because I talked so much um, instead of drinking my tea. Um, and it's gotten very dark in here now. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got a Disney countdown or even just a, another holiday countdown, please share it with me in the comments below. Um, I feel, since I've booked these trips, I just feel like generally more excited like having something to look forward to really just changes my outlook definitely so yeah let me know your countdowns below if you've got any tips hints tricks if you film um 
if you create Disney videos and you want me to have a look at your channel, again, leave that in the comments below. I will definitely go and check it out because I am consuming Disney content like crazy at the moment. If you're going to be in the parks, if you're gonna be in Paris in July this year or um, in Walt Disney World in February next year, let me know. Maybe we can meet up and spot each other around the parks. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited, guys. Um, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.